Hi Joanne, thank you for joining me today. Please introduce yourself and tell us where you're coming to us from today and please give us an update on Spring Hotels. Hi, uh, it's lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. My name is Jo Robinson. I'm the commercial director at Spring Hotels based out here on the sunny island of Tenerife. Thought to give you a bit of inspiration today. We've got some waves in the background. Uh, not actually at the beach, but this is just a backdrop in the office. This is the, the sea line of Anaga up in the north, so I thought I'd give you a bit of inspiration today. What I wanted to do was give you a quick update on, on what we're up to, what Spring have been doing through the lockdown. We've been uh, very, very busy. Uh, quickly touch on our campaign, The Best Year Ever, and hopefully add a video at the end of this so you can all see it, if you haven't seen it already. A quick update on what we're doing in each of the hotels because whilst the doors have been closed we've been busy little bees doing updates doing refurbishments etc um one of our new projects is we, we we already have an agent platform uh spring pro but we've been using the tight downtime whilst we've been in lockdown to update it and make it more user friendly for agents so i've got a couple of screenshots where you can see what it looks like and how to get in etc and also, most importantly, our agent rates, because we've had, whilst we've been on lockdown, I think everyone's looking for a bit of inspiration for when this is all over and when they can go on holiday. So we've got fantastic agent offer that's out for the, at the minute that will run through right until the end of the year. So if I move on, uh, lockdown activity. We've certainly been uh, super active in lockdown. We've got quite a lot of projects on the go at the moment. And I know that our business development manager, Pam Bryans, who I'm sure that you all know, has been very active and has been ringing all the agencies and tour operators personally one by one. If Pam hasn't rang you at the minute, then I'm, I'm sure that you'll be on her list. But it's great for me because I'm based out in Tenerife. We get a real feel for what's happening in the industry, how the agents are feeling, and just to know that there's someone there as well. I think it's great to know there's someone there at the end of the phone. Any new bookings that you get, either myself or Pam, are always available uh, in case you've got any questions. Our most frequently asked question at the minute is about our disabled rooms. We've got uh, fully adapted rooms in the Volcano and also our connecting rooms in the Butacra when it's back open again. So we're getting lots of frequently asked questions that we're both available for. First and foremost, it's um, very keen to reiterate that we are following government guidelines on where we need to be and what we need to be doing for when we do open the doors again. Working very, very closely with Tenerife Tourism, uh, the governmental authorities, because it isn't just a case of one day to the next we open the doors again. We can have the hotel back up and running within seven days, but we obviously need to make sure that we're following strict protocols we're actually looking to change our check-in procedure now so we can hopefully offer very soon a contactless check-in if that's what customers want and then they can bypass check-in altogether. But again, we've got to work very, very closely with governmental guidelines. So that takes up a lot of our time as we have various um, video conferences daily with all these different governing bodies so it's been very it's been a very interesting exercise very very eye-opening contactless check-in we're working on as we speak we were actually already quite a way down the line with this before all this happened so we feel very fortunate that we've been able to use the downtime to push this project further down the line not only contactless check-in but we've been working for quite a long time in digitalizing our business and becoming more modern so we've got, for example, um, digital trolleys for the, uh, the cleaners to use. So that cuts down their workload. They've not got to carry as much, etc. All helps ease the burden. So there's quite a lot of things on the go that we're working on, which is making us sleeker and more efficient in the future. Obviously, one of our very big projects is that our Hotel Bitakara has been closed for vast majority of the summer while we did a full refurb. That will mainly uh, cover the pool areas. We're going to have all different zones, children's zone, and a zone for adults only as well, so that we can appeal to couples as well as the family market. And we're also installing one of our famous up terraces. So a VIP up terrace will be going in. Work is already well underway in all areas of the hotel. So we're very excited to see the new look with Takara. And hopefully as soon as we start to get some photos and some coverage, I can start to put those online as well. 
and we've also decided to um, give the Arona Gran a little update whilst we're closed. So our adult only hotel, the Arona, based here in Los Cristianos, where our office is, that's where I am at the moment. We're using this time to give it a little bit of a modernise in the restaurant area, the bar areas and reception while you walk in. So when we get our first customers back, it will be a brand new, fresh look. So we're very excited to see all the new changes. For any of you who aren't aware of what our hotels are, a lot of people often say that they're aware of the hotels and the names, but don't realise that they're part of the chain. We've got the Hotel Volcano, which you're looking at just now, based down in Las Americas, very popular because of its location. This is a hotel that offers a bit for everybody. So we've got um, not necessarily so much for the, the family category, but it generally is for couples, for friends, for families who have got children maybe up to, say, the age of seven. Children's pools, we've got uh, rooms that can do up to three. And this is our hotel that's very popular for our um, wheelchair users. It's very user friendly for anybody with a reduced mobility or anybody who actually needs a fully adapted room. And we've got a hydraulic lift that goes down into the pools as well. So we can get totally mobile people down into the pool area, which is quite nice. And we obviously have here our famous up, our up terrace, which gives you that. This is where this photograph was taken from. So it gives you a panoramic view of not only the sea and Las Americas, but on the flip side and the other side, you can see Mount Tady. So you get a bit of everything, a bit of everything that Tenerife has to offer. Our next photo is of our uh, children's area at the Bitacra. Obviously, this is now close to refurbishment, but I do like looking at this photograph of all our little happy faces. In our children's play area, we've got activities, of more than 95 activities for children of all ages to be able to enjoy. And once the hotel is back open again in August, as I've said earlier, we're gonna have lots of little areas and niches as well for adults who can spend a bit of quality time, not necessarily away from the children, but they can be being looked after while the adults enjoy a bit of private time and maybe a cocktail or two on the roof terrace. And last but not least, where we are live from today, the Arona Gran. This is our adults only hotel, fabulous location, located right down on the seafront in Los Cristianos. Very peaceful. And again, we have our famous up terrace, which is proving to be very popular. I think the pina coladas are generally more popular than, than anything else. But the view and the pina colada and the sun that we've got today, then it's just a perfect setting. And we also have here, we've got a dedicated cycling room. Obviously, Tenerife is very popular for cycling holidays as well as many other things. And we have, uh, we're the only hotel in the Canaries that's got a gold accreditation for cycling friendly facilities. Fantastic storage. We've also got personalized routes that any would be cyclist can download straight into their mobile phone with all the GPS coordinates and off they can go straight from the front door or the back door of the hotel. So it's a fantastic little facility for anybody that's looking for a more active holiday. We can have maybe one, one if a couple come, because it is generally couples and adults that come, we can have one half out on the bike and maybe the, the other half, male or female, are either enjoying the spa or one of the cocktails up in our up terrace. Going to move on to very quickly what our um, web page looks like at the minute, www.springhotels.com. We are currently uh, improving our agent's area to make it far more user friendly. This is a photograph at the minute or a screenshot of what our principal page looks like. So you can see here that this is just the main website. You've got the choice of which hotel you want to look at, offers, flights, gallery with all the photos, etc. And up here in the top right hand corner, you've got the area that takes you straight into the agent's platform, Spring Pro. And it will take you to this page. So here you can either register yourself as a new agency or if you're a previously registered agent, you can log in. At the moment, what we're trying to do is upgrade it so it's more user friendly and this will become the platform we can, where we can communicate directly with all the agents, any news, any offers, all the building work, for example, that we have got on at the moment. So if any, any customers are asking for dates, when things will be back open, we can put videos like our best year ever campaign, 
all the events and promotions that we're actually participating in and any new upcoming events and promotions, the big events that we're hoping to get to in September. Can't wait to get there and can't wait to see people face to face because I'm based overseas. It really is a fantastic opportunity for me to connect to everybody face to face, the agents, the tour operators, all the suppliers. It's fantastic. So hopefully this by, by September, we will have our platform well up and running and we'll be able to talk about it a bit more then. But as I say, we're hoping to channel all of our information through here and be able to do webinars from here as well. So if we do get a lot more um, interesting information in the future that we can share with agents, this will be where it's all being communicated from. If you go into uh, any of our websites at the moment, the platform or the main Spring Hotels page, you will see that this year we have upped our commission to 20% for agents for any direct bookings. I know that Pam is communicating this message as she's doing her, her rounds, but that's definitely still on the table and a good little incentive for anybody out there who's wanting to book with us. Commission's paid instantly as well, which is also very handy to know. And last but not least, our agent commission, uh, sorry, our, our agent um, offer. Call Spring, Pro, uh, Spring 40, 40 being that it's 40 euros per person per day in any of the hotels on half board. And from now until the end of 2020, we've also got a free upgrade to the VIP up terrace. So that's quite the bargain. They get all the up services, the fantastic terrace, the cocktails, the drinks, the entertainment, the snacks from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. They can certainly enjoy uh, the stay with us. So spring 40 plus an up upgrade. Fantastic. That's all I've got to say at the moment. <laughs> It all sounds absolutely great. Um, well, thank you for joining me today, Joanne, and giving us all an update on Spring Hotels. Uh, I'm sure we're all looking forward to seeing you at this year's big travel trade event in September. Um, thank you for joining me and have an enjoyable you. Rest of your day. We will. Thank you very much. Bye. We know that 2020 hasn't got off to a good start. Our lives have come to an unusual standstill. Our countries have closed their doors. And suddenly, we can only see the skyline through our windows. 2020 has set us a challenge. And in Spain, the number of new coronavirus cases An extremely has difficult one. We've had to give up being close to each other and put off all the things we were waiting for. 2020 has set us a very difficult challenge. But even though it doesn't feel right for now, this will come to an end. It will pass, and when it does, we will have won. The distances will disappear. We'll discover what the world has set for us. And we'll get back to all the things that one day were put on hold. We'll be stronger than ever ready to give 2020 a second chance because luckily there are 12 months in a year and this one has just begun when this is over together we'll make 2020 the best year ever because we still have time because after all we deserve it we're starting now are you in <laughs>